Hello friends, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vidi. For those of you who are new here, it is February, so you know what that means. Another month, another vlog. Quick outfit check. I am wearing skinny jeans. Yes, I'm wearing skinny jeans. And a cute little sweater with my new book bag, which is this little cow print book bag. This one's a little bit smaller than the flower one that I had last time. And it's perfect because this month, it's already February. We're already in February and I have not bought my books for the month yet because I had a lot of books for January, so I just finished them. So we're gonna go get a few books. We're gonna get less books this time because there's still less days in February. I'm aiming for maybe three to four books, depending on which one's are available. Let's go to Barnes and Nobles. Okay, quick book haul because I really want to read because like I'm gonna shed a tear but haha <laughs> your girl said we're only gonna buy three books maybe four I have no self-control apparently these are the books I got I ended up getting five <laughs> let's start off with the first book that I already started reading and I almost shed a tear <sighs> I am not ready for this but I got the final book of Throne of Glass Kingdom of Ash. I'm not ready guys. Like I really am not. The next book I got, I'm gonna do it in reading order. After this, I'm going to definitely be heartbroken and sad and I'm not gonna be happy that the series ended. So to kind of shake myself off of that, I'm gonna next read One True Loves. Honestly, I wanted a more cheerful book, but literally all of the books I went to get, they didn't have any of them. So I'm like, I can either order them on Amazon or just get other stuff that was on my list. So I feel like this one, One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reads, will be a good kind of like way to step back from fantasy and step back from series and just kind of like take a breather. I'm pretty sure this one's going to have me in pain as well, but... It's okay, it's okay. It's just going to be a painful February, I guess. The next book that I will be reading is called War. This is the second book to The Four Horsemen. I read the first one, Pestilence. I'm just like, okay, this is like a dark romance kind of situation. Maybe it'll get me back in the mood of wanting to read a few more series. The next book I will be reading is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by, by Be Becky Chambers. I have been recommended this book a few times already, so I'm very excited to read this. This is another series, but this one is a sci-fi series. And then the last book that has been on my TBR for a bit, I was contemplating getting this one or not, but I wanted to start another fantasy series. I decided to get One Dark Window by Rachel Gilling because it's a duology, so there's two books in this series and the second book is already out, so I'm just like, let's get it. And so that's how I ended up with five books. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. These are my books in the order I will be reading them. I will go ahead and grab the books that I'm going to be reviewing. I'll be right back. So I'm back with the books that I read for the month. So these are the books I read for January and they bled over to February because I finished the two Throne of Glass books like the first week of February. So these are my books. 
insert book review now okay i'm doing something really different for this book review and i'm gonna see how it comes out the feedback that y'all may have and how hard it is to edit but basically what i want to do is i want to review each book i read in the month right after reading it so today is january 4th i finished this book yesterday last night i did not sleep until i finished it because i just really needed to finish this book and that is ruthless vows so starting off with ruthless vows for this book review this is the second book to divine rivals and i cannot recommend this duology enough it is such a good series i and it's just two books like it is just two books with series that are five books or much longer with universes that are so big sometimes you just want something short a standalone or even something super simple like a trilogy or a duology so going back to divine rivals i can't give a quick synopsis about it because it will essentially spoil what the first book is about so if you haven't read divine rivals i would really recommend reading it just to read this one because ruthless vows was so good so ruthless vows picks up where divine rivals ends and if you know how it ends you know how it ends i started january 1st and ended it just yesterday which was january 3rd so it took me three days to read this and this book just like the first one had me close to tears the whole time and it made me cry it was just beautiful it was really beautiful it's so beautifully written it's very poetic rebecca ross has a way with words i just absolutely love it i do want to say something about the series in a whole while this is supposed to be a ya fantasy novel when you read this fantasy book I would not recommend to compare it to something like the series of Throne of Glass or A Court of Thorn and Roses or like the biggest like romanticy series right now that I can think of is Fourth Wing. Don't compare it to that because it's nothing like that. It's not really focused on world building, not necessarily. Yes, there's a little bit, but it's more so you can have context of what's happening in the story rather than because the focus is world building. My rating out of five would be a six. Mostly because this one was already a 5 and I felt like this book was way better than this one. So this would be a 6 out of 5. Together, this is one of my top series. If you have not read these series, I really recommend. Quick book review. I went to two today because I read these over the weekend. And yeah, I have until my tea kettle goes off because I gotta go to work right after this. So the first book is Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I have had this in my TBR for quite some time. And I finally got to it. I will say, I don't, I think it was because I was coming out of a book slump. It did take me quite a while to get the, into this. Like I read maybe a third of it. And after reading a third, after I got to like the second part of the story, I finally got into it. And even then it was a little bit slower but the story itself the plot itself is really good so a quick synopsis is about this girl her name is Xin Ying. sorry if i mispronounce it and she's the daughter of a moon goddess her daughter grows into maturity and like is able to reach her powers and that ends up alerting the celestial kingdom so she has to run away from her only home she's ever known because it will put herself and her mother in danger so basically this journey follows a Xingyin journey into becoming a stronger person in order to be able to free her mother because she vowed that one day she would set her free and so it just follows her journey there's some romance with the celestial prince and there's just it's a good story it's a fantasy story it's based on Chinese mythology so it's actually really interesting in that sense it's just the way it's described and the way it played out in my head was just so interesting but because it did take me a cool second to kind of get into it I did have to dock some rating points off of it but for this one I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 and it's a good 3 out of 5 because the story itself was really good it just took me really long to get into it I might read the second book just not right now it doesn't end in a extreme cliffhanger where you need to read the second book I feel like you could even read it as a standalone but I do want to know what happens next and I finished this on January 11th I don't know that took me like a whole week to read usually something like this would take me like three four days oh and one last quick side note about this book for a daughter of the moon goddess is that i really wanted her to end up with the antagonist the villain the morally gray the dark hair the 
you know i will put you over anything else kind of person so that kind of just sums up the books i've been reading i'm not gonna spoil anything else though so the next book i picked this up and this was the book that i was taking with me to my trip to my vegas trip and it was what i was going to read in the airport i finished it so I started this January 12th and finished it January 14th. I didn't read while I was at Vegas, I just read at the airport. So basically it took me four hours to finish this whole book. <laughs> and I really liked it. <clears throat> so this one's called The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Quick synopsis for it. It's basically about this woman who lives in her aunt's apartment. Her aunt's apartment was a, or is a magical apartment that time travels seven years to the past. This is a cute little rom-com, follows the story of Clementine who takes over her aunt's apartment after her aunt passes away. Eventually one day she goes into her apartment and she like goes to sleep. Like she's so tired she just falls asleep only to be awoken by like a guy. So it turns out that this apartment traveled to the past seven years. It just follows their 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 romance story. It's really cute. I really liked it. When I read about it, I was just like, oh, this is going to be a very interesting story because there's like some time travel um, elements to it. And this is not necessarily a fantasy or anything like that. This is just like a rom-com with, uh, I want to say maybe a little bit like magical realism. I, you know what? I had a lot of fun reading this. I had I had tears in my eyes. I had I didn't cry for it, but I did have tears in my eyes. I had goosebumps. So I'm give it a five out of five because it, it really was impactful and I really enjoyed my read. I read it in four hours. That's how that's how good it was. But five out of five, good book. Totally recommend. Hi, hi, Chadu. I'm in my PJs. I just woke up. I wanted to give a quick review before I forget. I finished this book yesterday. I think it's the... You want it? January 20th. It did take me a while to get through. It took me a while to get into it. So this is Venetia by Georgette Heyer. Overall, a quick synopsis about this book. It's about a girl, her name's Venetia. She has two brothers, an older brother and a younger brother. One is out on military duty or so they think they're not sure but he's away and the other one has a disability Venetia stayed with her younger brother to take care of him because of this and because of like their father's neglection she never really got to come out in society so she's this woman who's 25 years old getting closer to spinster age spinster because girl I'm 25 and I don't feel that old but I guess the rake of the <laughs> of the ton comes in their neighbors and meets Venetia and it's kind of like a romance story between them but it kind of starts off as friendship and it's just a very witty story the the relationships with Venetia like she's such a light-hearted protagonist <laughs> but I will say it did take me a while and towards the end I'm just like I just want to finish it I know what's going to happen and then I just felt very dragged out towards the end and I'll be honest the ending ending it kind of made me laugh because I'm just like girl you really played us didn't you so I just thought it was really funny I'm not gonna say how it ends but the ending was kind of funny but it was it was good however because it t did take me a while and I was kind of bored at times and I felt like it dragged out at times I am going to rate it a three out of five but it's a good three out of five like I enjoyed it to a certain extent but I just kind of wanted to finish it quick book review for forever interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Weeds. oh boy <laughs> Yes, I started this book like Sunday, Monday, and I finished it last night, January 24th. And it took me about, I wanna say like four days, three, four days to finish it. So this book is about a girl, a person, a woman who meets this one guy and has an incredible romance with him, gets married and literally within nine days of them being married, her husband passes away. So this book literally follows the story of Elise, the, the main character, and her grief as she goes through the motions of losing her husband and moving on and accepting the death of her husband. It's very very hard to read in that sense it was really really emotional to read especially because this book goes back and forth past and present so it starts off with the death of her husband 
and then it'll take you to when they first met. I was so happy at times. time. I I was like teasing and like smiling and then I switched the page, changed to the next chapter and I'm like sobbing because it is just so sad. But it's also such a beautiful story. Get ready for tears for this one. It was really sad. And you know what? I have a feeling that's what the rest of her books are going to be like. So that's going to be very fun to read because I had like three other books on my TBR for this one. My final rating is going to be a 4.5 out of five so i'm gonna go read something lighthearted. i'm gonna go read a little fluffy book now okay so i'm going to do a quick review for done and dusted because i finished this book last night so this book it's a cute little romance book quick synopsis it's about this one girl her name is clementine also known as Emmy. She used to live in Denver, Colorado, but then moved back to her hometown in Wyoming. Basically, she's a barrel racer, I think that's what it's called. And she got into an accident and it kind of really freaked her out. So she decided to kind of just up her life and go move back to her hometown. And it basically follows the story of her trying to like get back on a horse and then kind of trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life. It also kind of like shows a side of like ADHD since the main character has ADHD, how she deals with that and what her diagnosis meant to her. And of course it's a romance book. So you have your little cowboy. I don't know why I said little. <laughs> He was your typical kind of like bad boy, cowboy situation uh, growing up and like now kind of has his life together, is more mature and stuff like that. And this trope is best friend's little sister situation. So the guy is like her brother's best friend uh, and his name is Luke. It follows the story of Emmy and Luke and kind of like how they get together, how she goes through her traumas and like trying to figure out what to do moving forward and stuff like that. It was a cute fluffy romance book. I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. I enjoyed it but nothing really stuck out and again towards the end I was kind of just like dragging along and I'm like okay. It has a level of spiciness in here. I would say maybe like 2 out of 5 for spiciness but yeah a, a cute good little rom-com okay last books of the month i made a whole video about tandem reading so that video should be out before this one if you guys want to check out my reactions on how i felt about reading these two books at the same time it's the first time i've ever done that go ahead and check that out but i did not give my review because this is my review video so let's start off with empire of storm because that's book five in the series empire of storms i am not going to do a full synopsis but empire of storms is as fast paced if not more than queen of shadows it was so action-packed there was so much going on that it was just so hard to put down it was it was a really really good read my favorite things about empire of storms is all the characters that came back in this book you saw so many characters and it was just so satisfying so many reunions i think i might have cried at some point of this book like slightly just a little <sighs> my favorite my favorite quote and i don't think it's my favorite necessarily it just kind of broke my heart but my favorite quote was where is my wife i can like i cannot stop thinking about that i cannot oh my god my heart my heart like shattered at that if you know you know <laughs> i'm sorry spoilers <laughs> So yeah, Empire of Storms. I feel like I can't really rate these books separately because I read I read them together, but Empire of Storms, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. It was such a good book. I loved every second of it. I was not bored, not one bit. Moving on to Tower of Dawn. For me, it was slow. I do not, completely do not recommend reading Empire of Storms and then Tower of Dawn because you're not going to want to go back and read this book. You will not. They both happen at the same time. It was I feel <laughs> I feel like it was a it was a good book on its own. It just was not my favorite from the series. What I really really liked about this was Irene and Kale. This book also follows Nestrin's story and Nestrin's story was 
I'm so sorry, but her story was so boring. <laughs> I did not really like her story at all. I only liked it when it was relevant to the plot, which, you know, it's supposed to be relevant to the plot, but it was just such a side quest I was not into at all. So I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5 not my favorite was kind of boring if you take anything away from this and you are trying to read this these books read these two together please just do yourself that favor and read those two together you're not going to want to go back after empire of storms to read tower of dawn you really will not you're going to want to skip it but there's stuff in tower of dawn that you're going to need to know for the final book i am so sure of it because there's just a lot of information that is given there read them together it's just the best way to do it read them together the only other book that i'm going to give a rating for is confessions of a bookaholic that i said i was going to read and that one i'm going to give it a two out of five and i did not read the other books i said i was going to read for january because it is now february <laughs> i finished these books yesterday which was february 7th so that's it yeah let's go on to the next scene <laughs> so yeah those are all the books i got my books and my reviewed books that stack is way too big to pick it up so yeah i i'm trying to decide one if i should do a video of me reading the last book i'm gonna see how my tandem reading book does i'm still going to record myself reading it but i'm gonna see how my tandem video does and if it does good if i have feedback on reading it on camera then i shall oh and i kind of forgot to mention i'm thinking of trying to create more book content just because when i make book content that's like the most excited i am that's the happiest like i am with my videos yeah you might see a little bit more of that stuff coming up i'm very very excited thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for next month's book vlog because i will be going somewhere exciting hopefully I think I will. Yes, I'll go next month. I promise I'll go next month. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and I will see you all next time. Bye.